right after Ted Danson decided, you know, to, to finish up Cheers after 11 years, see, Paramount, this is a political thing in the uh, television world, Paramount had wings. And in order to renew Cheers, they demanded that ring, wings would follow Cheers at the 9.30 time slot on Thursday. And as soon as Ted Danson said he wasn't coming back, then they could put a Seinfeld. Warren Littlefield, you know, he, he had great wisdom too, and uh, even I didn't have great wisdom about the marriage of Jerry and, and Elaine, but he, he gave it that time slot. February 4th, 1993, changed everything. Because they put wings in a different time slot. We followed Cheers during that whole summer reruns. And by the end of the summer, Seinfeld was out raiding Cheers. And, that, and they, they were on the way. And I met Ted Danson soon after that at a party, and I just hugged him. I said, why are you hugging me? He said, thanks for quitting Cheers. I said, we got that time slot. He was hysterical. Because that, that just shows you the little quirks and turns you know, that make. We almost got canceled even after the, uh, thir after the, the four episodes. And after the 13 episodes, and our ratings were low. But then something was kicking in called demographics. Uh, Alan Cohn, who worked in, in marketing at NBC, said, you know, they have a very good audience. You have a young, bright audience. And I think that's going to help. And, and that helped. Also, the critical acclaim was great, because the press loved it. The media loved it from the beginning. But it was a huge struggle uh, and, until that time slide. And then it, it was number one. After that, it ended up number one in the whole world when it went off the air with over 75 million people watching it. 